Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TV and our frags, aka Preston here, and welcome back to the KM Strike with every single gun in the game series and Call of Duty Ghost. And what I have for you guys today is my very first flawless team deathmatch kim with the Bison SMG. I actually really love this SMG. It's a really cool, compact little, you know, fun sucker. Except the only bad thing I gotta say about this SMG is that sometimes, man, it takes way too many freaking bullets to get a kill. And I mean absolutely way too many bullets. That's like my only complaint about it. Other than that, it's a, it's a pretty solid SMG. And it really does remind you of the Modern Warfare 3 PP90, which I absolutely loved. I was in love with that gun. Back in Modern Warfare 3, man, if you slapped it on like Rapid Fire and Silencer, that was my go-to gun, hands down, every time if I wanted a Moab. I liked it even more than I liked the MP7 in Modern Warfare 3, and that is saying a lot considering that everybody and their grandmother used the freaking MP7. But uh, anyway, so I know that I uploaded a video yesterday announcing that, uh, you know, I did a Black Ops 2 video, uh, or a commentary over Black Ops 2 gameplay, and I was like, you know what, guys? I really want to expand my channel out and, and upload different first-person shooter games and that could be basically anything that's fun at the moment and at this current time and guess what just got announced today I, uh, I, I just it just got announced but it is the Daisy standalone game so I don't know if you guys were around about a year ago when Daisy was like this huge hit mod from a game called Arma 2. It was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. Everybody loved it. But of course, back then, I was focused on only uploading Call of Duty, and I was too scared to branch out into other first-person shooter games because I thought people would hate on the videos and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Basically, just a bunch of excuses. I actually did upload one DayZ video way back in the day, and it didn't go over too well. So I was like, well, I'm not doing that again. And, uh, so I, you know, th things change. Things happen. But anyway, so uh, it, was, it was part of this game called Arma 2. It was a big mod for it, and people were just just like, do you play DayZ? Like, they weren't like, do you play Arma 2? Everybody was just like, dude, have you played DayZ? So, they actually uh, made it their own game. So, it's not like a mod from Arma 2 anymore. It's literally its own game. Just came out today on Steam. You can get, like, early uh, alpha access on it for 30 bucks. And I'm really looking forward to trying it out. I've downloaded it. Haven't played it yet, but I definitely want to do a live stream on it tonight and make some videos on it. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. I'll definitely tweet out and post on Facebook if I'm streaming. I'm not sure if I'll upload a video to YouTube saying I'm streaming. I might, might not. We'll see. It just depends. It depends on what time it is and all that good stuff like that. So once again, I did announce that I'm branching out my channel and other things like that. And I did announce that I'm not really having a lot of fun with ghosts. But last night, I hadn't played the game in about a week. It was around midnight. There was only 6,000 people playing PC. No, it might have been, I think it was 4,000, and 900 of those, like, 4,000 people were playing Team Deathmatch. So I was like, you know what? Haven't played in a week. I'm sure I'll enjoy myself. And I actually jumped on and had some fun and, uh, and managed to get this flawless uh, Kim, which wasn't too shabby, if I say so myself. So, and then, you know, I did say I was going to finish out the KM Strike with Every Gun series just because I enjoy the series. I owe it to you guys. And it just, it hits me right at home, you know, right in my heart, because this really reminds me of the Modern Warfare 3 Moab with Every Gun series. Even though it's it's not quite the same, it still reminds me of it, and I, you know, I enjoy doing it. So why not continue it and finish it out, even if it is Call of Duty Ghosts, right? So hopefully you guys still find the series enjoyable regardless, even though it is COD Ghost gameplay. I know a lot of you guys don't find it super entertaining, so apologies for that once again. But I try to, I try to do my best to make it as entertaining as possible. But however, I've also been playing a lot of Battlefield 4 lately. And I'm not gonna lie, man. I I'm 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 keeping a 2 KD in that game. That game is an interesting one. If I get in a vehicle, man, I just start tearing it up. But then again, if I go on like foot, I just get absolutely destroyed sometimes. So I think is what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to do some live streams on these games before I upload any videos, or maybe I don't know. This is just me spitballing ideas and you know you guys let me know what you think about them down below in the comments but maybe I should stream like Battlefield 4 Daisy and stuff like that to kind of get the feel for it and kind of learn it a little bit more before I upload the videos or maybe you guys would like to see basically me being a complete retard and have no idea what I'm doing and just upload it because it'd be epically hilarious uh, you know and stuff like that I, I don't know it's really up to you guys let me know what you guys think about that in the comments I'll definitely read them and I really did appreciate by the way all your support on the video that uh, you know where I announced that my channel's not going to be just stuck to one game because you know the Call of Duty franchise like I said as it is is uh, you know it's not really going anywhere and I didn't really elaborate this on yesterday's video but you know it, it comes to a point in time with e when even the developers of their own game aren't listening to the community at all the, the, you know the game's not going anywhere. They're just, they're not listening to us. They don't really care what we have to say. They've become that big 
franchise where they think they can do whatever they want and people are just going to play the game regardless. And I don't really want to be grouped into that category of mindless zombies who are going to play a game no matter what just because it's called Call of Duty. Because I'm really looking forward to a bunch of games. So, you know, heck man, I'm going to buy them all and play them and whichever ones I find the most fun, I'm going to play and upload. Like, that's as simple as it gets. If you enjoy a game, play the crap out of it. That's that's just like, that's freaking, that's how it should be in a video game. That's just my opinion. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe down below so you never miss an episode. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.